Now, Leo was inspirational, and one of the things with Leo was that he didn't, uh, he, he could come down to the level that, that most people are at in the audience. So he wasn't just engaging the best ones in the audience, he was engaging everybody. You know, he could explain things well enough that even the people who'd never seen anything like this before could learn something from it. And he wasn't stuck up at all in the way he talked. You know, he was very down to earth. He was very practical. And one of the things that I, that was a theme through all of our work together was he wanted to keep things simple. And if you look at the, the code for Random Forest, it's not simple, but his, his attitude was, let's keep this as simple as we possibly can for the user. Not too many things that they have to tune. You know, so really we only have one variable that's, that Random Forest is sensitive to, and that mm -hmm. is the number of, of random variables you choose at the node. The number of trees is not that sensitive to. You can't really fit too many trees. As long as you get it big enough, it's not sensitive to that. And that was, that was a deliberate choice that, that, um, that we put in, even though it sacrifices possibly a little accuracy here or there. Uh, it was a deliberate choice because Leo's big goal was every time I would suggest anything that would make it more complicated, he was like, "No, Adele, we've got to keep it simple. We keep doing that." And so, so all anything that's subtle or complicated goes on behind the scenes in the forest.